All right, welcome to another episode. In this episode right here, we're going to be taking a look at many to many relationships and why we would use them. So in the previous episode, we took a look at building the comment system. I mean, I know we haven't added the user uh, tracking which user made the comment yet, and we'll get to that later when we work with uh, user authentication. But in this episode right here, we're just going to focus on uh, many to many relationships. So let's take a look at the web browser over here. And I know that the app uh, currently looks, um, you know, not so nice. It looks very um, messy. And we will get to cleaning all of that up uh, a little bit later. But for now, we just want to focus on getting, um, you know, the relationships built. So uh, I'm going to head over into my text editor over here. And we have the post and the comment model, uh, as you might remember. Um, what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I want to create a tagging system that will allow us to tag, you know, which piece of content should be tagged with which keyword. Um, and tags can be handy for, you know, using in search engines or, um, you know, it can be used for many things like to show what kind of, uh, you know, keywords is associated with this post, you know, on medium.com, they have that. So I want to build that into here as well. So let's start by uh, thinking about it for a moment. Uh, you know, we want tags, which are keywords. So for example, a post, you know, like when I make a content, like a tutorial about Ruby on Rails, I might want to tag it with um, Ruby on Rails uh, and then tag it with like, you know, maybe I'm talking about association. So I have a Ruby on Rails associations model, you know, just some basic keywords to go with the article or the video. Uh, to make it more searchable and people to relate to it a little bit easier. Uh, so in this case, we're going to implement a tagging system and we need to use what's called a many-to-many -many relationship because, you know, if you think about it, the keyword Ruby on Rails might be uh, associated with many posts, but at the same time, many posts also want to reference um, the same keywords. So that's why we have a many-to-many -many relationship. So I'm going to show you how to do that in Rails. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to open up a new tab over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a uh, tag um, model. So Rails G uh, model tag. And we're going to give it name string. So this is going to be the actual word that we're going to uh, store in the database. Um, yeah. All right. So just the name is enough. For now, we're going to keep it simple. And the next thing we're going to do is, um, so this, we have the tag model now, but we need to be able to associate uh, the tag to the post. And in a many-to-many -many relationship, uh, we're going to have what's called a join model. Uh, in this case, we're going to use a has many through relationship. Um, there's another type of relationship which is has and belongs to many. We're going to get to that a little bit later. In this episode, we're going to focus on the has many through relationship first. So there's two kinds of many to many relationships in Rails. And I'll explain the advantages and disadvantages and why you'd pick one over the other a little bit later on. So I'm going to create another model here called tagging. And tagging is going to have two fields. It's going to have the post ID, which is a reference to the post and tag ID, which is a reference to the tag. So this join model is exactly just that. It joins, you know, which tag is um, is connected to which post. Very simple. So here I'm going to go Rails G model, tagging, post, references, uh, tag, references. All right. So if I head over here, I'm going to see belongs to post, belongs to tag. And if I look at the migrations over here, uh, we're going to see that we have, it references the post and it has a foreign key and all that all set up for us. And then we have the tag with the name that we just created, you know, just now. Great. So um, all we have to do now uh, is set up the actual tag. So, you know, the tag has many taggings, um, you know, so tagging itself um, is a, um, you know, because it belongs to tag, tagging itself is a model in this case. So, um, so it can have, you know, tag has many taggings and uh, tags, tag also has many posts through taggings. So now this is the part that tells uh, Rails that we need to reference 
um, the tagging model in order to find which post a particular tag is connected to. And so, you know, there's a lot of theory here, but we're going to actually implement this and I'm going to show you what I mean in the actual console. So this is done. And the next thing we need to do is uh, set up the same thing for has many taggings um, and then has many um, tags through taggings. So this is automatically going to do all the joins and create all the complex query for us without us having to do anything, which is great. So this is now done and we can now actually create um, tags in the console. So I'm gonna go into the console over here. Let me enlarge the console just a tad um, so we can see everything very clearly. So I'm gonna load up the post equals post.find um, or post equals post.first. So we're gonna load up a post and what we're going to do is, before we load up a post, let's create a tag. So tag equals um, tag.create name and then here we're just gonna call it Ruby. Um, oh, yeah, so I forgot to run the migration. Let's do that first. So rake db migrate. We need to generate the table uh, and, you know, the our migrations that we that was generated when we're creating the model will do all of this for us. All right, so this is done. Uh, so what we can do, go back into the console and I'm going to do tag equals tag dot create name Ruby and then tag equals tag dot create and then name coffee script. All right, so we have two tags now. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, tag our post. So post equals post dot first. And so what we can do is we can actually post um, dot tags equals, and we can just use an array even. Um, so let's say, you know, we can do, um, you know, let, let's, let's first load a Ruby tag. Tag equals um, tag dot find or where name ruby dot first. So now we have the ruby tag uh, saved as a ruby tag variable. What we can do is now post. So post dot tags equals and then ruby tag. So what we can do now is we can do a, a, a post dot save. Um, and basically it's already, if you look over here, when we did the post dot tags equal, we didn't need to do post, post dot save. It's actually already inserted the um, the model into the join table, uh, so the object into the join table. And as you can see here, it created a post ID with the ID two and the tag with ID one. Now let me go into the actual PG commander to show you what's going on. Here we go, local host, um, and then we're going into rightfully development and taggings. So as you can see here, the tagging itself has an ID and then it has a foreign key ID for the post ID. So it's this particular tag is uh, connecting tag with the ID one. Uh, in our case, it's the tag with the name Ruby to uh, post with the ID two. So that's how the tags are being connected. Uh, it's via a join table. That's why it's called a join table. All right, so what we can do now is let's say post, uh, post.tags. It's going to show us the tags that was connected, um, that's been connected to this post. Let's connect another, um, you know, let's connect another tag. So in this case, we're gonna do tag equals tag.last. And so this is the coffee script tag that we just created before. And what we're gonna do is post.tags equals, and we're gonna give it an array and tag. So now this tag is going to create, um, obviously, if we look in Postgres, I'm gonna do a reload over here real quick. Okay, you can see here um, that it's saved, it's kind of removed the old tag and replaced it with this one. Now, if you wanna add both tags to uh, the, the post model, what you have to do is not use the equal operator, but use the plus equal. And then here we can do the Ruby tag. So we have two tags now. Um, we can now use the equal operator because we can assign it an array with both of the tags. But let me just um, you know use the Ruby tag like this and the plus equal operator because I want to show you a new operator. So if we do this, now it's going to append. So it's going to add another tag to our post. So if I do this now, I hit enter. What you're going to see 
um, so you may hit reload over here. There you go. Um, that I that tag is now back. Uh, it's it's now with the post ID two and the tag ID one. So this is the the Ruby tag and this is the CoffeeScript tag for this post. So let's load up another post. So post equals post dot uh, where. Uh, let's do post at last. So this is definitely another blog post. It's definitely not hello again. So this is the post with ID six. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do post equals um, post dot tags equals, and then we're gonna do Ruby tag, just like that. Uh, so now what this is going to do is it's going to create another ID over here, another uh, model here with the tagging model. So this time, because we're tagging the Ruby tag, which has ID of one with the post uh, with ID six. So this is, um, you know, this is how it's set up over here. So this is how basically how the join table works. Um, so yeah, that's basically how a, um, you know, a join table works. And that's how you get uh, connect objects together using a join table. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head into the views and I'm going to list out the post, uh, sorry, the tags here. So what I'm going to do is add another P tag. I know it's messy, but we're going to clean this up later. So I'm going to do post.tags.each do T or tag, just like that. And then what we're going to do here, uh, actually we can use a UL just to, you know, because we have a list. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna render out um, each of the tag for this post, for the particular post that we're rendering out. Okay, here we go. Uh, so here we can do a rend uh, tag dot name, and then we're gonna give it an li, obviously, just like that. And now I'm gonna go back to the browser, hit reload, and you see that it's listing out the tags that we added for the post. So, um, you know, you may be wondering, how do I actually add a tag from the UI? We are going to do that. We're going to cover that in the next episode. So with that, I'm going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful. If you have any problems or have any issues understanding our video, comments below, and I am going to help you guys or girls out. See you guys in the next one.